So here we're interested in looking at the warbler data as a discrete random variable. These can only take on a finite number of distinct values, but when we add them up, they should all add up to one. That is, the probability should all sum to one for all possible values of y. And each probability itself has to be somewhere between zero and one. If you've heard about the random variables, the binomial, the geometric, Poisson, negative binomial, these are all good examples of discrete random variables. So how might we use these data to find a sampling distribution of a mean? Well, to do this, we could list out all the possible samples that could be observed and their probabilities. And then we could calculate the mean of each sample. And then we could list all the unique values of the sample mean and then sum up over all of those samples to calculate their probabilities. So what do we mean by this? Well, imagine let's go to the warbler data. We're going to go out twice to count the number of warblers that we see. So the first time we go out, we represent that by y1, the second time by y2. And so the first time we go out, we find zero warblers. The second time we go out, we find zero warblers. If we multiply those two probabilities together, that is 0.6 times 0.6, we get 0 0.36. And the average value is just zero. Now, what about the next time we go out, we find zero warblers the first time, one warbler the second time, if we multiply those probabilities, that is 0.6 times 0.1, we get 0.06. And then the average value of 0 and 1 is 0.5. And so we're going to do that by listing out all of the possible values in this table on the left, multiplying the two probabilities together, and then calculating the value for the mean. So now our sampling distribution, what we'll do is we'll take for each value of y bar, or for the sample mean, uh, we're going to sum them up. And so the probability that we get zero warblers when we go out twice is 0.36. The probability we get 0.5 warblers is 0.12. Recognizing now that because we have multiple samples, we can have things uh, that are between zero and one, or are non-integers. And so we can now have a new probability sampling distribution after we look at all of the possible samples. We'll now go out twice to calculate what this might be for the Warbler data set. And so we're going to do that. We're going to do some calculations now to calculate the sample size when n equals 2. We're going to calculate now the sample mean, which we denote mu sub y bar and the sample variance, or sigma sub y bar squared. 